Welcome back! We've got one thing down and two more to go in Operation Breakup. We've been able to print out a mind map that shows Emmett is a degenerate criminal, but now we've got to convince Emmett, or Edna, rather, that Emmett is a slob, and that he's not faithful to her. So we're going to have to continue to look around here. Let's see what uh, Citizen Brown and uh, Edna are talking about over here. I wonder what they're up to. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? Well, about the younger you and Edna. So you never looked at anyone else? Is it true that you only had eyes for Edna? At that time, I'm afraid so. I always tended to idealize the opposite sex. I was educated in a boy's school, and Jules Verne was always a little sketchy with female characters. You haven't got time for a therapy session, Doc. Edna made a point of saying that teenage you looked great in her grandfather's suit. I, uh, I did cut a fine figure in that suit. She hated it when I got it dirty. Got it dirty, huh? Hmm. That might be something we'll have to keep in mind. Maybe I could talk teenage you into losing the suit. I doubt it. I knew how much that suit meant to Edna, and at that time, my only desire was to please her. You know how that mental alignment meter of yours pegged you as a model citizen? Well, wait till you- Stop! You're gonna tell me about one of your schemes to make Edna break up with me, aren't you? Yeah. See, Edna thinks- I don't want to hear it. I know it's in the service of a good cause, but I still can't bear to know the details of my younger self's impending heartache. About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, what am I supposed to look for again? A signal that it's done evaluating the time circuits. The analysis can take a while. Be sure to let me know when the light turns green, and I'll take her out for another test run. Alrighty. It's about Edna. Don't worry, she's not going anywhere right now. That's good, but... What were you guys talking about exactly? What are you two talking about anyway? It's a private matter. I promised I'd keep it between us. For the present. Hmm. I don't know if I like the sound of that. She isn't starting to get under your skin, is she? Heavens no. The memory of her older self wheeling me into the reconditioning chamber is just too strong. The younger version is decidedly more attractive, though. Yeah, we've kind of noticed. Have you found out anything that can help me? Only that she's stubborn, argumentative, and completely convinced of her own moral superiority. Great, thanks, Doc. That really helps. On another subject... Less distasteful, I think. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a plan. Good. Tell me. No, no! After all, it's my history we're talking about. If I learn how you're planning on altering it, my resolve may weaken. That's a good point. Can we talk to Edna, though? Can I talk to you a minute, Miss Strickland? Surely. Excuse us a moment. I don't know if we have anything new. It's like this. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady. She fits the costume. She's an American citizen. And she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Thank you, Artie. Oh, these people are impossible. So you want to get Trixie fired, huh? Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. 
No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. Hmm... So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. Interesting. Well, Trixie told us that she might be willing to help us if uh, she was really mad at Edna. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. As much as I hate to do it this way, we may have to dig up some dirt on Trixie in order to make that happen. And somehow, during the middle of that conversation, somebody just appeared over there by the truck. Let's see what he has to say. It's Q-Ball. We haven't seen him in a while. What's he doing out of here? Shouldn't he be in jail? Hey, pal. Oh, jeez. This guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Wait a minute. Was his teeth just green right there? His teeth looks green right there. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. I guess that's one way of putting it. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause Little Miss Goody Two-Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. Well, it sounds like Trixie's trying to get on with her life. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that'd curl your socks. Really? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just... Well, it just cheeses me off, you know? Well, maybe she's just trying to turn over a new leaf, genuinely speaking, that is. But we're looking for some information about Trixie's past. Maybe he can tell us something. So what's so, uh toe curling about Trixie's past. Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Well... Well, under the influence of alcohol, my mom made a pass at me. Ooh! Alright, Junior, you win. That was <laughs> pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Bum bum Bum. Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Wow. Okay. You know, if I didn't, uh know what was going on here completely, I would think as cue ball that the greater good would sound pretty suspicious in that case. Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo <laughs> the other, it's all Greek to me. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. They're green, man. Come on. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? There's nothing. Nothing! I... I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. I was, I don't know, they turned my teeth green. Well, the algae part might have been a clue. <laughs> Please don't rat me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Yeah, we don't want you to uh, get tempted there. I think we asked him this already, didn't we? What kind of stuff have they got you oh, all in Oh, yeah, we did. How the heck would I... Hang loose. Whoops. You talk funny, mister. Alrighty. Now, one thing you can do for fun around here is um, give away the algae cakes to people, although it's not required. Um, but I think in certain versions of this game, you might be able to get an achievement for that. 
How about an algae cake? Guess I am feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> Where the hell did you get that crap? The expo. I love the, his reaction to that. How about Trixie? Do you want an algae cake? How about an algae cake? One doesn't normally think of algae as a dessert item, but, uh, what the hell? Well, it's got a very, um, unique flavor. I can imagine. Can we show her the picture and see if she responds to it? Let's see. I just want to make sure. Is this you on this postcard? Yeah, that was my first photo shoot. You want me to autograph it? Uh, that's okay. Okie doke. How about Artie? Do you want an algae cake? How about an algae cake? Much obliged. Mm. Mm. That was different. I think we're going to get everybody's teeth green here by the end of this. Maybe we can give uh, Citizen Brown and Edna algae cakes? Let's see. How about an algae cake? Ugh. That tastes exactly like the slugs that Edna was pumping into me back in the Citizen Plus ward. Hmm. I don't know if I would have said that in front of that, not to be honest. But this is an adventure game, we can get away with that. How about an algae cake? Don't mind if I do. Not bad. Algae, you say? I'm going to suggest that they add that to the menu at the orphanage. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done that, to be honest. That may have been a bad idea. But, what we're really here for is to give this picture to Edna, because in the interest of perhaps uh, getting Trixie mad at her, if she were to get Trixie fired, then that might trigger something. You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir! Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill Valley... I don't Valley... need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once... The winsome wench of Winnipeg. <laughs> Her past doesn't matter to... Uh-oh. Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. <gasps> See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be... A U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You're firing me? I don't want to. Here, take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Ouch. Let's talk. I'm surprised she's actually somewhat willing to help us after that, since she saw that we had the postcard. Trixie? I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but up- we gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Parlor Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Okay, so now... As part of the uh, convincing 
Edna that Emmett is unfaithful part of the Operation Breakup. We gotta get three things for uh, Trixie here. And we thankfully know where we can get a photo album, and that is at uh, Emmett's house. But we'll do that in the next video.